Hello, welcome to Best Reviews at YouTube. This item has a rating of 4.1 out of 5 stars. A customer wrote, I got the new iPod Nano 7 to replace my iPod Nano 4. The 4 was getting pretty beat up, and the battery was going downhill after 3 years. I had an iPod Nano 6, temporarily before selling it off to my brother who put his Nano 4 through the washer slash dryer. Good things the screen on the 7 is a lot nicer slash easier to use than the screen on the 6 because of the improvement of size. The various combinations of ways to hit the play slash pause button to change tracks is clever and easy to understand. The Lightning Connect is very nice. It can be inserted either way, so there's no upside down. The ear pods have a nice fit. I have smallish ears. The engraving offered on Apple's online store looks really nice. I got my name so nobody can say it's not mine. Not as good things the volume slash play slash pause button make it pushed while in your pocket. I liked how the Nano 6 had the volume button on the top, but that might not work as well with the larger button dot on the Nano 4, the setting allowed you to choose which things showed up on your main menu or music menu. The 7 doesn't let you have that so you may have a bunch of pointless lists, i.e. composer, compilations as far as I can figure, you can't customize your background, it has a few options that match your iPod color. You will have to buy a 30 pin converter to make your Nano 7 work with any speakers, or wait until Apple makes their own. There are earpods included with your iPod Nano, but not earpods with a remote slash mic. That's stupid. Clever but stupid dot for some reason, my headphones don't seem to go in all the way into the port. You still have sound, but it sticks out more than the iPod Nano 4. Thank you for watching. Please give the thumbs up.